launched on March 17th, 1969 from the original Long Hope lifeboat shed seen here. The lifeboat TGB capsized while on a rescue mission. This personal homage to her courageous crew of eight whose lives were lost sets in motion the first chapter of our fundraising journey in aid of the RNLI Scotland. A chapter that unfolded through my chance meeting on a train with George Livingston, whose first-hand witnessing of the return of the TGB that fateful day inspired him to compose his tribute song. Welcome on board, awash with the RNLI, our long-term fundraising project, which we started up by visiting the Orkney Island of South Walls, on which the current Long Hope lifeboat is stationed. Having crossed the Pentland Firth to Stromness, our voyage continued across to Hoy, and thence the Canting Head Lighthouse. That first evening we were delighted to be welcomed by the Stromabank Pub Choir, a wonderful example of community spirit that I was pleased to capture in an on-the-spot painting and subsequently an Out and About with Paul video. The following morning saw me down at Long Hope Harbour brushes and palette in hand to capture the current RNLI Long Hope lifeboat, the Helen Comrie, her crew headed by coxswain Kevin Kirkpatrick in this year of 2011. Thankfully the Helen Comrie was berthed in the harbour and stayed put, which enabled me to complete the painting, for I had already committed to leaving this with the choir in order that they could use it as they will to raise funds for the Long Hope Lifeboat Museum. Central to this open-ended fundraising project will be a growing collection of original oil paintings from which are published fundraising limited edition prints. And as such, central to this reference gathering trip was my quest to find the subject that would give me everything I was looking for to complete my first master oil painting in this RNLI collection. The subject of each of these narrative paintings would be prompted by a backstory unique to any one particular lifeboat station or its environs and community, which will make every one of the paintings unique. Furthermore, I have been waiting for some years to start work on a series of paintings on rock pools, where I could bring my signature features to play. The quality of light, reflections and transparency. And that was what I had found the previous late afternoon when crossing from Brims to South Walls, the ideal subject, illuminated by the low-lying amber light of the slowly sinking sun on this early autumn day. Foreground rock pools dominating a composition in which the Long Hope Lifeboat Museum could be seen framed by the headland of Brims, an iconic image telling of the courageous crews of lifeboats past and present. was a dark and a stormy night in the year of 69 When eight brave men took out their boat and went to heave a line When those eight men took out their boat to battle through the storm thing that they did not know was they'd never see the morn. Wind and wave, the tempest raged, the storm was at its high. As the lifeboat men of long hope sound sailed out into That stormy first through wind and wave and storm Their boat it headed through the waves going ever eastward on Their thoughts were on a crew of men stranded The 
lifeboat men of long hope sound had filled their minds with hope. Wind and wave, the tempest raged, the storm was at its height. As the lifeboat men of long hope sound sailed on into the For sure, then homeward round turned they. When their boat was struck by a cruel wave and capsized in that stormy sea, the crewmen of the TGB, the bravest on the sea. Their lives so others could live in that stormy Pentland Sea. Wind and wave, the tempest eased, the storm has passed its height. When the lifeboat men of Long Hope Sound were brought back from the night. Tempest rain. 